Hello nice people, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button if you're new and for the returning subscribers, I love you so much. Drama has escalated online after size 8, who is a known woman of God, has been badly exposed and also criticized by Kenyan celebrities for doing this to a known celebrity stylist. The stylist who goes by the name Johnny the Hairdresser is a known makeup artist and also a stylist who has worked with lots of Kenyan celebrities. Being a male makeup artist and also a stylist, most of the the time he tends to practice his craft on himself like doing makeup and also putting on wigs so as usual Jenny the hairdresser was hired by size 8 team to style size 8 for an event but immediately size 8 saw Johnny and how he dresses she immediately cancelled a day before let's get to read what the stylist that is Johnny the hairdresser wrote about size 8 while exposing her Johnny the hairdresser went on his social media page to write this and I'll quote True story loves the so-called gospel ladies apparently cancel on me based on the fact that that I am G.A.Y. from the things I post here I am a believer of Christ and one thing I know God is just and loving He has sustained and elevated me all my life so if anyone doesn't want to associate themselves with sinners they might as well leave their adulterous partners. Real question though how do you all get to judge someone based on someone's this is an A class hypocrisy and you all should be ashamed. I understand we all have preferences but let it be work related. My delivery of the work, Kwanza who said I am G-A-Y, Instagram is tricky. Calling upon a Ruby Gossip Club at Mpasho program to, to spread the gospel. From the uh, fr from what Johnny the hairdresser wrote, it seems so he, she, he was angry after Size decided to cancel, and yet uh, Size was judging him on how he dresses and not his work. He also complained that if Size would go on to judge him based on what uh, he does, on the other side Size should also go and check what the adulterous partners are uh, is doing of course by this statement we don't understand uh, whom johnny the hairdresser was referring to whether it's dj mo that is a um, size 8 partner or someone else but let us know your thoughts in the comment section because other celebrities went in the comment section to say different things after a uh, johnny the hairdresser got to say that about size 8 this is what some of the Kenyan celebrities, netizens, and fans had to write in the comment section after Johnny the hairdresser had to say that about size 8. And I'll quote, we had Dennis Kaluri saying this, wow, that's not what Jesus would do. Uh, Pikana Rage, let me confess, I'm not. I'm looking forward to the day you will style me. Uh, Dennis Karuri, this video is funny, babe, laughing emoji. Um, Atieno was saying, who is size 8 to judge, laughing emoji. Look at the pot calling the kettle black is that what jesus would do reborn indeed as was saying i think for them using a gay person would seem that they agree or they are promoting something that is unbiblical and so yes jesus loves sinners but he didn't entertain sin see how he chopped people out of the church so maybe that's something both sides should meditate on i can still love you but disagree with your ways uh, another one was saying i'm stuck at adult trust partners surely we had forgotten about that of course that one was referring to the the saga that went on uh, uh, viral back in the days of DJ Mo and Size 8. Another one was saying, Meanwhile, I'm trying to afford you. Your work speaks for itself. Why judge her, her of all the people should know better? Uh, should know better now that she calls herself a pastor. Or other, please, if you have no sin, please feel free to cast first stone. Another one, Lakini Shuali, who told humans to act as deputy Jesus? I thought we all won in Christ Jesus. Mo continued to write, Sasa umewai sema wapi wewe ni GAYC. I thought ni content tu unapea, unapea watu hapa Instagram. Where while some of us we wish we could afford your services, your months. Amukami was saying so sad when the judgment and hypocrisy comes from Christians who are supposed to be leading us to Christ. People had a lot to say. Also let us know your thoughts in the comment section. This one was saying maybe she felt uncomf uncomfort uncomfortable which is okay. You are actually doing the same thing, judging. People should work with those whom they feel comfortable around. Uh, this one was saying, but we saw her cheating husband on video call. I'd say every born you have no right to discriminate anyone by the way while you paraded your marital issues and struggles to all of us uh, to see and know shame on you by the way uh, shame on you 
Let us know your thoughts in the comment section on what these netizens and um, celebrities had to say about a size 8 and also Johnny the hairdresser whereby some of them were agreeing with uh, Johnny with what he was saying and on the other side um, people are supporting size 8 for refusing or cancelling uh, Johnny the hairdresser because she was not comfortable with uh, him doing giving her the services let us know what you think about all this in the comment section and that's it for now thank you so much for watching this video till the end i really appreciate make sure you give it a big thumbs up to show that you really enjoyed comment down below let us know your thoughts on all this controversy uh, that is between size 8 and uh, johnny the hairdresser on what happened between the two do you support size 8 or on the other hand do you support johnny the hairdresser let us know what you think about all this in the comment section if any or you have never subscribed to our channel hit the subscribe button hit that notification bell to always get notified every time we post and so guys till next time bye